Welcome, Trade Spooners, to today's presentation and discussion on the pick for February 25th, 2014. We're going to be looking at short Avon products. AVP is the ticker symbol. Taking a look at the proprietary risk reward rating, we're at a four, so right at that mid range. And the value momentum is at a two, so not a ton of volatility. Uh, that's been moving in the market, but uh, the value momentum is at a two. And to get a deeper analysis, take a look at our proprietary reports here at TradeSpoon where we dig deep into the technical and fundamental aspects of this particular pick as well as give you our proprietary scores. Let's take a look at the price action for AVP. Uh, the closing price the night before on the 24th for the stock was at 1538, which is off of the 52-week highs of 2471. And right off of the 52-week lows of 1423. We have seen implied volatility percentage increase off of the 52-week lows for implied volatility. It's up 50%. Um, so keep an eye on that. That is uh, in that zone where we are seeing a heightened expectation of potential movement. The risk on capital right now is 35%. The probability of success being measured right now at 64% for the option strategies and taking a look at the estimated move average going into the expiration of um, of April, we're seeing that it's being calculated right now at $1.10. So let's take a look at the picks. The stock trade is sell stock short AVP, ticker symbol, at a limit price of $15.38 or better. Now, we're going to cover this trade for a profit $3.20 lower than the entry price. So that would be $12.28, or in other words, $3.20 lower. We'll also put a buy stop limit uh, $3.20 above, which would get us up right around that $18.58 mark. And we're going to work both those orders good till cancel. Um, remember, use prudent size management on this, so you should not be using more than 3 to 5% of the cash available uh, at the time of this trade. Let's take a look at the single leg options trade. We're going to be looking at buying the April $16 puts. We're going to pay a price of $1.20 or better. If we're filled, we're going to put a target gain $1.20 above our entry price. So in this case, it would be sell limit, good till cancel at $2.40. We are willing to risk the full debit in this account in this particular situation. So that would be $1.20 or $120 per contract. So again, use prudent size management. We suggest no more than 25 to 5% for you small account holders in any one position. Taking a look at the option spread trade, we're actually looking at a bear call spread. Now, we are going to be talking about bear call spreads this week on February 27th. We're going to be doing a webinar, and if you need any more info on that, you can email us at tradespoon, info at tradespoon.com, and it will be listed under our training videos uh, if you couldn't make it. But we're actually going to talk about these credit strategies um, to, on Thursday, uh, February 27th at noon central time. So let's talk about the spread strategy. We're going to sell the April $16 calls, and we're going to receive $0.45. Cents. Now, we don't want to have unlimited upside risk, so we're going to buy some protection. We're going to buy the $17 calls, which are $1 above the $16 calls, and we're going to pay $0.20 cents for that, which means that our net credit is going to be $0.25. Cents. Our risk on this trade, theoretically, is the difference between the strike prices, a dollar, minus the premium we receive, which is $0.25. Cents. So that means our risk is $0.75. Cents. Now, we are going to have a target gain of $0.25, cents, which is the total amount, and we're only going to risk $0.25. Cents. So if this, trans, if this trade is trading at $0.50 cents or higher, in other words, this spread, we want to get out and cut our losses. And as always, you can always use our TradeSpoon uh, virtual trade to practice and, you, and learn more about how to use these strategies and develop a risk and capital management plan that fits your tolerances. Taking a look at the chart action here, you saw that the stock has been weak over the last few months and is trading right off of those lows and is below the moving averages, the longer term moving averages. As far as stock events are concerned, you see the earnings estimates have, have been missed for the last four quarters. So you have some fundamental information in here as well as some technical discussions here. And one thing that you always want to look for in this particular section is if there are earnings. And right now we don't have any listing. News and commentary as of the going into this particular pick is listed right here under the news and commentary. And as always, you can use our proprietary analysis report. 
And please take advantage of any help, any questions, considerations by emailing us at info at tradespoon.com. And take advantage of the training material that we have. We're building out those trainings to posted with our partners from Money Block and Trading Block, where we've discussed trading debit spreads and we've also discussed uh, expiration. And like I said, we are going to be doing an event on February 27th covering um, these particular strategies that we discussed earlier in today's pick, which was a call credit spread or a bear call spread. Well, that's it for today, and I want to wish everybody a great trading day.